हेलो चिल्ड्रन टुडे इन साइंस सब्जेक्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू पार्ट विच इज अबाउट एनिमल अडाप्टेशन सी अ एनिमल अडाप्टेशन पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी फाइव इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न एनिमल्स एंड देर यंग सर नो यस नेक्स्ट आई होप आल I hope all have completed your workbook of first chapter and second chapter part 1 Now we are going to study about animal adaptations Okay tell me children what do you mean by animal adaptation You already know animal okay next adaptation means what see here adaptation do you know adaptations means process of changing to suit the environment okay do you know children millions of years ago huge animals called dinosaurs roamed the earth now there are no dinosaurs do you know why some scientists believe this happened due to a sudden change in the earth climate they believe that it become very cold and the dinosaurs could not adjust to the cold conditions and die in the natural world a plant or an animal adapts or changes itself to suit its surroundings this happens over hundreds and thousands of year This process of changing to suit the surroundings is called adaptation. What is adaptation? The process of changing to suit the surroundings is called adaptation. Living things that are able to adapt themselves to their surroundings survive. Okay? Those that cannot adapt die. Okay, children. See here, animals, animals everywhere with not an inch to spare. Animals everywhere in the soil, above the soil, at various levels in the salt water bodies of seas and oceans, in fresh water bodies, on trees, in grassland, grasslands, in snow covered lands, at the seashore in the swamps in areas of no rains okay no rains means that is desert in areas of continuous rains continuous rain means that rain forest you name a place and you will be able to think of animals that live there even in busy cities animals coexist with people in packs cockroaches rats and mice thrive in the garbage dumps we create okay children now first we want to learn main three points there are adaptation to environment adaptation for food adaptation for protection okay adapt first one what is what do you mean by adaptation to environment do you know the natural home of an, the natural home of an animal is called its habitat animals can be grouped according to their habitat this is adaptation to environment next second one adaptation for food adaptation for food animals eat plants or other animals they can be classified into four groups according to the type of food they eat there are herbivorous herbivorous carnivorous omnivorous and and parasites next third one 
adaptation for protection what is adaptation for protection do you know it is very important for animals to protect themselves and live long enough to reproduce let us read about the three most common ways by which animals save themselves from being eaten up by other animals house flies fish frogs and deer deer move very fast to escape from their enemies whales elephants and hippos are too big to be eaten by other animals zebras tigers and leopards have strips or spots on their bodies which help them to merge or mix with their surroundings this is called camouflage in polar region arctic foxes have brown coat in summer but grow grow white fur in winter their color merges with their surroundings and it becomes difficult to spot them thus they keep themselves safe from their enemies insects like the stick insect and the leaf insect look like what their name suggest and that keeps them self these are the main three point okay about adaptation okay next see here and sir surprisingly each animal from the largest blue whale to the tiniest thinnest of insects and worms and surprisingly we adapted to live in their particular habitat they move about find food prey and raise their babies in the in their habitats what is habitat do you know they move habitats they move about find food breed and raise their babies in their habitats there are many different ways to classify animals they can be classified according to their body structure there are there are inver invertebrates invertebrates invertebrate means animals without a backbone for example okay and vertebrates vertebrates means animals with a backbone vertebrates can be further classified into mammals okay children tell me what do you mean by mammals you already learnt in previous class no yes animals that directly give birth to their babies are called mammals tell me one second animals that directly give birth give birth to their babies are called mammals okay seer next underline listen here carefully underline the difficult words and write it in your class work three times and learn the learn the difficult words okay next reptiles reptiles birds fish and amphibians do you know amphibians animal that lives both on land and in water these are amphibians okay animals are also classified based on their eating habit habits namely herbivores do you know herbivores herbivores means what plant eating animals are called herbivores cows goat and giraffe eat plants they have sharp biting and strong grinding teeth no 
they have long and strong legs to travel long distance in search for food okay next herbivorous means simply plant eaters next carnivorous do you know carnivorous meaning carnivorous flesh eating animals are called carnivorous lions tigers and dogs eat the flesh of other animals they have well developed tearing teeth flesh eating birds like eagles and vultures have sharp beaks and claws to catch the catch other animals and to tear their flesh these are carnivorous simply meat eaters animals carnivorous next omnivorous Omni omnivorous means eat both plants and meat animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivorous bears crows and cockroaches are some omnivorous okay next scavengers do you know scavengers already you learned in the previous lesson scavenger means eat remains of dead animals for example eagles okay and parasites do you know parasites derive nutrients from other organism parasites some animals live on or inside the bodies of other animals for their food they are called parasites the animals on which parasites depend for their food are called hosts mosquitoes leeches hawk bombs and bugs are parasites they have suckers and sucking tubes to suck blood from their host okay next many animals have feathers next sorry many animals have features with help to protect them from their predators predators have pe features that help them find their prey we humans are active in all seasons no some animals become inactive in harsh winter or severe summer conditions few animals go to sleep during the hot dry summer months the summer sleep is known as aestivation they find cool shady and moist places especially during the day and come out to find food during the nights which are cooler bees earthworms snails frogs and toads crocodiles mud turtles are some animals that asate aestivate similarly animals like bats squirrels mice chimp chipmunks and bears sleep through winters they are known as what hibernating animals and the winter sleep is known as hibernation hibernation next some birds play sir several hundred kilometers to find food and to escape harsh winters this is known as migration okay next based on where they live animals can broadly be classified as terrestrial terrestrial means that living on land terrestrial animals living on land and aquatic aquatic animals means the animals they are living in water animals living on living land are called terrestrial animals living on land are called terrestrial terrestrial animals like horses lions and camels live on land 
they are called terrestrial animals such animals have legs to move on lungs to breathe they have well developed sense organs and a nervous system in order to sense the changes in their surroundings animals like snails do not have legs they have plates or scales that help them that help them crawl animals like po polar bears and arctic foxes live in cold regions they have fur on their bodies to keep them warm they have fat under the skin to be used as food in winter some animals like lizards and frogs sleep for several months to protect themselves from the cold this is called hibernation okay see here hibernation the skin of desert animals is thick and not very hairy hairy it protects them from the heat of the sun okay next animals living on land are called terrestrial okay next see here animals living in water are called aquatic aquatic and do you know aquatic animals animals that live in water are called aquatic animals fish snails turtles and crabs are some aquatic animals such animals have fins or limbs suited for swimming in water the webbed feet of of a duck and the paddle like limbs of a turtle help them to push back water while swimming fish and fish and crabs have gills that help them to breathe in water okay next see here animals that spend a lot of time playing in the air are called aerial what is aerial animals what do you mean by aerial animals animals that fly are called aerial animals these animals have wings to fly most birds and insects can fly bats are the only mammals that can fly animals which fly have a light body because of light bones and feathers the body of flying animals is boat shaped so that it that it can easily cut through the air these are aerial animals next see here animals that mostly live on trees are called arboreal animals arboreal animals means what some animals spend most of their time on trees they are called arboreal animals monkeys tree tree lizards playing squirrels squirrels and opossums are some arboreal animals they have claws and broad hip girdles to support their body while climbing a monkey's long and curly tail help it to swing from a branch okay these are arboreal animals next animals that can live on both land and water are called amphibians already you learnt what is what do you mean by amphibians what are amphibians okay animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians some amphibians are frogs toads salamanders and nets they have limbs that help them in swimming a moist skin helps them to breathe in water however they also have lungs which help them to breathe on land okay children In this lesson we will visit some of the habitats to see how animals are beautifully adapted to 
try in those places okay children next i will show one video in that video you will get good information about animal adaptation okay listen carefully underline the difficult in this chapter underline the difficult words and write it in your class work science class work three times and learn learn the difficult words and learn the some small small question answer what are what do you what do you mean by mammals what do you mean by uh, amphibians what do you mean by omnivores okay all of you learn small small questions and answer question answers okay read well okay bye we will continue next class